Hello everyone, our topic today is elephants, the biggest of the land. Elephants are the largest living land animals on earth. Male African elephants can reach 3 meters tall and weigh between 4,000 minus 7,500 kilograms. Asian elephants are slightly smaller. They have a highly developed brain, the largest of all land mammals. Their brain is three or four times larger than that of humans, although smaller in proportion to their body weight. Elephants have a long proboscis called a trunk, tusks, large ear flaps, pillar-like legs, and tough but sensitive skin. Their trunks have many uses including breathing, lifting objects, smelling, and producing sound. Elephants are social animals and live in groups called herds. They can live up to 70 years and are believed to have long memories. Elephants have complex social structures, relying on their matriarchs and older females to lead the herd. Elephants also display complex emotions, ranging from grief to joy. They live in close-knit family groups and form bonds with one another. Studies have shown that elephants help protect forest health in Central Africa by distributing the seeds of trees. Because they roam over such great distances, elephants play a key role in spreading tree seedlings far and wide. Scientists have documented lower tree diversity in forests that have lost elephants, meaning a less healthy and resilient forest. Keeping forests healthy ensures trees will continue to store carbon in their trunks, roots, and soils, which in turn helps reduce the effects of climate change. Poaching and wildlife trafficking undermine the safety of local villages by causing violence between hunters and communities. But at the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy in Kenya, rangers are trained and credentialed as police reservists, who respond to both wildlife and non-wildlife crimes in the area. They attract tourists, generate jobs in national parks, and boost local economies. They also provide direct benefits to people, such as supplying water during the dry season. In some parts of Africa, people have even started to use elephants to carry goods to market. Elephants are also culturally significant. In some African cultures, they are seen as a symbol of strength and are associated with royalty. In India, the elephant-headed Hindu god Ganesha is widely worshipped and is seen as a remover of obstacles. Elephants are also important for research, helping us to better understand the behavior and social dynamics of other species. Scientists have recently discovered that elephants communicate with one another using low-frequency rumbles, which can travel for miles. They have also found that elephants recognize the voices of their family members, even when they are separated. We have much to learn from elephants, and protecting them is essential for the health of our planet and its people. Elephants are also important for research, helping us to better understand the behavior and social dynamics of other species. They have also found that elephants recognize the voices of their family members, even when they are separated. Elephants are also very intelligent animals, capable of learning, problem solving, and even recognizing themselves in a mirror. They also have complex relationships with other animals in their ecosystem. For example, elephants help spread the seeds of trees, which helps to regenerate forests. Elephants also share their habitat with many other species, including lions, cheetahs, antelopes, and buffaloes. By protecting elephants, we are also helping to protect their habitat and the other species that rely on it. Elephants are also threatened by climate change. As temperatures rise, droughts become more common. This can cause water sources to dry up, which makes it difficult for elephants to find food and water. Elephants are also vulnerable to habitat loss as human populations expand and land is converted for development. In some areas, people and elephants come into conflict when elephants raid crops or damage property. To reduce these conflicts, conservation organizations are working with local people to find ways to coexist with elephants. This includes teaching farmers how to protect their crops from elephants and providing alternative livelihoods that don't rely on wildlife. 
Elephants have been used in wars for thousands of years. In antiquity, two elephants were known, the Asian elephant, Elephas maximus, and the African forest elephant, Loxodonta cyclitus. The Asian elephant became known in Europe following the conquests of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BCE and contact with the Mauryan Empire of India. So impressed was Alexander with the war elephants of Porus, who was said to have had a corps of 200 when he fought the Battle of Hydaspes in 326 BCE, that he formed his ceremonial elephant corps. Elephants were dressed for battle in armor which protected their heads and sometimes front. Sword blades or iron points were added to the tusks and bells hung from the body to create as much noise as possible. Elephants could cause havoc with any defensive field works and fortifications. The Carthaginians were major users, employing them in the First and Second Punic Wars against Rome in the mid and late 3rd century BCE. Even more famously, at the Battle of Zuma in 202 BCE, the Roman general Scipio Africanus allowed Hannibal's 80 elephants to run through gaps purposely made in his infantry lines and then turned the animals around using drums and trumpets to let them cause havoc with the enemy. The use of war elephants was largely dropped by the Romans after the Battle of Zuma. However, they were still employed in other parts of the world, including India and Southeast Asia. In the Middle Ages, war elephants were used again in Europe, this time in the Muslim armies of the Iberian Peninsula. The Muslim forces of Al-Andalus were the main users, employing them in the ongoing Reconquista of Spain and Portugal. Later, in the 16th century, the Portuguese and Dutch used them in their wars with the Muslims in Southeast Asia. Elephants were still used by some armies in the 20th century, such as the Japanese in the Second World War although their use was increasingly limited as more modern weapons were developed. Elephants have been a part of mythology and folklore all around the world. In Hindu mythology, the god Ganesha, also known as Ganapati, is often depicted with an elephant's head. Ganesha is associated with wisdom, good fortune, and strength and is seen as a remover of obstacles. In Chinese mythology, the elephant is associated with good luck, wisdom, and strength. In African folklore, elephants are sometimes seen as helpful and benevolent creatures and in other stories, they are seen as symbols of power and intelligence. In the Noah's Ark story, elephants are seen as gluttonous and destructive, while in some indigenous cultures in North America, they are seen as symbols of strength, wisdom, and good luck. Elephants also play an important role in Buddhist mythology, as they are said to have been used by the Buddha to reach enlightenment. Thank you for your interest. If you would like information on another animal, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to provide you with information. Good viewing and thank you again.